Hey you guys, it's me, Rin, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I have a crafty, colorful craftsman for you. And let me just say, it is chock full of nifty knitting items. I got the pack and I really like it. I'll be honest, I don't do a lot of gameplay, so I haven't actually knitted anything yet. But I have gotten into the buy and build stuff. And you guys, look, it's colorful. And I love color. I always have to put color in my build. There has to be pops of color or else I feel incomplete when I make these builds. So we went all out with color. Um, I wanted to do something that was just happy to look at. I wanted something that would brighten your day when you gazed your eyes upon it. And I also wanted to create a tiny home that was conducive to a little home studio for a crafter. So this tiny home works really well for a Sim who likes to knit and who is a budding entrepreneur selling their wares online and at craft fairs. So that is what this build is all about. Again, I just really wanted to make it bright and happy and smiley. I guess that's the best way I could put it. So a lot of oranges, a lot of blues and greens and yellows and purples and honestly I, I, I went for color everywhere and I really like it. I think it came out really pretty and I hope you guys like it too. Um, I'm coming off of a really challenging build <laughs> where <laughs> I um well, let's, let's see. Uh, many of you may know that there is a challenge out called the Sparks Challenge, and it coincides with a brand new reality television show called Sims Sparked. Yes, you heard that right. A Sims reality television show where I Rin, tell us more. Also, I'm not paid to say any of this. I, I just really like the show and I am really excited about uh, what I did for the challenge. So the show, it airs every Friday on network television, 11 p.m. Pacific and Eastern. And then it's uploaded on Mondays to YouTube. As I upload this video in particular, um, the finale should have aired or should be airing today and i hope that you all well all of you who are watching and staying tuned and keeping your ears perked to the creativity there i hope you enjoy the show but along with that show the sims had a challenge that was put forth to the entire sims community where you could either create a sim build or create a story and share it based on a prompt. And the prompt was a destination wedding and you can choose from five different prompts. There was beachy, casino, rustic, uh, beachy, casino, rustic. <laughs> beachy, casino, rustic. Why am I blanking on the other ones? Beachy, casino, rustic, spooky, and jungle, there we go, holy brain farts. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot two of them. But hey, we finally made it through. Um, but I decided to submit a build for it and that took me so long. I terraformed so much. I made a rustic build called the Fabled Ridge Church and I'll put the information for it down below so you guys could check that out too. And uh, I may upload a video of me touring it uh, later. It was just really hard to film all of that because there would be so much footage. And plus, I was just hyper focused and wanted to get that done and put all of my energy into it. It came out beautifully, but that is what really, <laughs> the, the complexity of that build was a great challenge. However, I am ready for something a bit more, a bit more peaceful in terms of 
building. So that's why this build has been such a blessing because it is much more straightforward. I'm using so many more colors. I mean, this the color palette in this build is just vibrant and happy and having it be in this really humble build just felt so right. It felt so good. So I hope you kind of get that sense of cheer and calm and joy with this build as well. Um, right now you'll see that we are working in the uh, kitchen slash dining room slash living room slash office slash crafting room. And all of this really I wanted it to all feel like it went together, but that you did have distinct spaces. I really, really wanted to make sure that when you were in the living room, you really felt like you were in the living room, even though it is part of one big room. I wanted that feeling of it being sectioned off and having its own space, its own defined space. So that is what we're looking at now. I was trying to figure out which shelving to use here. And again, I was just looking for colors and bright happiness in everything I put in this build. Um, I ended up putting just some more decorations up on that wall. I believe I put a rainbow pendant up there and also made this entire room a, a deeper shade of blue um, instead of this turquoise color. Also, you may be hearing my dog snoring in the background. <laughs> So you may, your ears are blessed. Um, the kitchen also, I, I added this kind of divider table um, that you may see later that again helped really define the kitchen without there being a massive, massive island in the middle, which I thought was really important. The space is small and again, it needs definition, but it doesn't need bulk. So really paid attention to that. This corner though, which we're now getting away from, but the corner we just left was the dining room and I really liked putting the clouds over it. I just thought that was a fun and playful addition to, again, this very lighthearted build. Um, for It took me a little bit to figure out the craft kind of corner. Um, I went through a lot of different iterations of how to configure the new Nifty Knitting desks together. What I ended up doing was only using one, um, the desk, and then I put um, the rolly cart of crafts next to it, and I think that came out really nice. I skipped that part of the footage because um, I just, I'm, I'm trying to learn how to pick the right footage to show you guys and also I will remember when I'm building to really really focus on those fine moments when I'm capturing things you guys will probably want to see. So we're gonna be jumping around quite a bit but I think that it is worth it and uh, let's see we are in the bedroom sorry I'm trying to like zoom out so that I can see where we are in the footage welcome to me learning <laughs> learning Final Cut Pro. <laughs> it's, you know, I'm always trying, right? Don't worry, one one day I will figure this out. Um, we, we still have a good portion to chat about. Good. Um, we're in the bedroom now and I used a lot of the new hanging plants from Nifty Knitting and let me tell you, the hanging plants are incredible. I want to have them in every single room and every single build that I ever do from here on out because they are just so brilliant. They add so much. I mean, think about this. We really for the forever only had the, the debug hanging plants, which bless their hearts. They tried, but they just, were always so dark and a gloomy and they just didn't really excite any kind of imagination <laughs> except for a really kind of dreary build so I'm so happy to finally get some hanging ceiling plants that are just again a joy to look at I love them, highly recommend using them. They are fantastic. And I use them in this case to really frame up the bed, which um, in a sense, they help act as a, uh, as a headboard to the entire accent wall that goes along with the bed. 
So now you're looking at the bathroom. I also use the nifty knitting door with this. I know there's windows in it, but when you're in a tiny home, I figured you're not really running the risk of being seen in the bathroom often. <laughs> so why not have windows in the door? It added some charm. I like that on the other side of it, there are the flower accents. It just looked really pretty. I wanted pretty, so I put pretty. In the bathroom, I have just a stand-up shower. I tried to put this divider in it, but it just really wasn't working. I ended up leaving that open and it actually worked out better. It just really allowed the space to to breathe and be more open, which in a teeny tiny bathroom like this, I would say that is a must. <laughs> so we kept it like that, as you can see there. Um, I used a lot of the stuff, uh, a lot of the build by stuff from Tiny Living because it works so well with Nifty Knitting. I tell you, the last few stuff packs, have been chef's kiss. They are so good. The items are so good. And honestly, they tend to work together, which is something we usually want. Now I know people are gonna cry, but Rin, none of the wood tones match. And I hear you, I hear you, I hear you, but I won't, I will, I will acknowledge that. Um, but look, a lot of the items from these packs go together so well. Let's just take this moment to embrace that fact and sell, have, a, have a little momentary celebration, you know, little, little teeny, teeny tiny pieces of confetti just boop, let's celebrate because they do look really good together. So I had a, a lot of fun making all that happen. Also in the bedroom, I decided to add more craft stuff. Essentially, this is gonna be the spot where, again, this, this is supposed to function as a home studio, a home crafting studio. And in this corner, I figured, well, they're gonna need a spot to package their goods. So why don't we bring another nifty knitting um, surface into the mix here, and then we, uh, and then just add boxes that are wrapped as if, as if the sim is getting ready to ship them off or getting ready to, you know, fulfill some orders that were previously made and that need to be gift wrapped. So that is what you see here. Um, the yarn bag can function both, you know, as storage for uh, whatever kind of yarn the sim needs or if you can kind of use your imagination, imagine the sim using the yarn and using it as the ribbon, quote unquote, for the wrapping. I thought that'd be pretty cool. So that is why that is there. I added a couple more accessories and I also used the tool mod to turn the scissors so that they were lying down flat on the table. These are debug scissors that are normally up, like just straight up and down to where one of the finger holes is like, underneath the surface. So I turned it over so it looks like it's actually laying flat like scissors would on a counter. Now we're going outside. Again, keeping that bright, fresh, happy look. <laughs> um, I kind of bounced around a lot from the front yard to the backyard. I really wanted to figure out how to balance the two and bring them together. Now, eventually what you'll see is I went, oof, I went in hard with rocks. Uh, with rock, I guess, trim, how do you say that? It's like rock edging that goes around like a planter space on the ground. Now, I feel like that was a great attempt at something, but it ended up not working. I ended up using a debug item that I actually think, I think it's technically a package but it reads very, very well as like a, um, like a concrete cobblestone slab or block. So you can just repeat those around as a trim border for landscaping. And it does, and it looks more uniform, which in some builds is actually preferred. And uh, in this build in particular, it was highly preferred. Also, just to note, you might notice at some point that we do, we do change lots of, when I first started this build, I was doing it in Brindleton Bay, the cats and dogs world. 
Um, I was noticing though that the grass texture, the natural grass texture in that world was just very, it's very chunky. <laughs> It's very chunky grass, and it just wasn't going well with the landscaping. Aha! Here's the here we are. This is where I switched over. It wasn't going with the landscaping, so I ended up going over to Willow Creek and plopping the build there and continuing it there because look at how much nicer the grass texture is. It's not as busy. It lends itself better as more of a canvas for something like this. And here are those blocks I was telling you about, again from Debug. I believe it's a base game Debug, so they are free for anyone to use if you have base game. I love these things. This is actually the first time I've really extensively used them in a build, and I'm really happy I did. They just add this real nice curvature to landscaping because you can do so much with them and you know their direction and everything but it has these really pretty and just fun and funky curves that you just really can't achieve with the rocks in the game so i think that came out quite nicely i ended up using these in the backyard as well which i think was a good move um I really like, uh, I forget what these plants are called, but he used very varying colors of that big leafy bush everywhere. A lot of wild, bleh, 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 bleh. hello, words out of mouth. Hmm, we're trying. I used a lot of wildflowers. I just find wildflowers in general to be pretty. So I used them a lot in this build and they also added a lot of color. Uh, had to add the bikes. I just, oh, these bikes from, oh gosh, these are, thought so I was like it's like Rin please don't misquote this uh those bikes are from eco living and I just thought they would add a quaint little touch to the front of the house here we are in the back told you I'd be doing more of this I <laughs> I figured out finally how to landscape the back it took me a second to figure it out that's why there's a lot of cutscenes. I was just really experimenting and trying to figure out what would look best ended up doing something with again these little bricks and a lot of a lot of ground cover um, more of those bushes also in a lot of the build I put um, these really cute figures everywhere and uh, like gnomes and such so keep your eyes peeled for some cute little critters and characters to pop around uh, this lot um, again more color because I couldn't say no to color in this build um, I really enjoy this build. Again, a lot of nifty knitting for this, for this cute little home studio, home crafting studio. And uh, pretty soon here, I believe, I wish I could zoom out to actually see how far we are from the pictures, but I can't. But pretty soon here, we will be going into the photo sequence of the build. And uh, I hope you enjoy those photos. I'll just say now, as, as per usual, we will catch up at the end after y'all see the pictures. And I hope you like them. I think they came out beautifully. Also, I'm trying reshade for the first time and am falling in love with it. So hope you really enjoy the photos because they should be looking snazzy as ever. Honestly, I am so pleased with how pictures are turning out now in The Sims. Holy moly, how did I live for so long without reshade? Oh my gosh, I've been missing out on so much. How could I have done that to myself? All right, I'm pretty dang sure we are rolling into the photos here. So the last bit of landscaping done. You'll be seeing the pictures and I will catch you at the end, my friends. See you then.
and that does it for this build you guys if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and if you're enjoying the channel please subscribe so you're notified when we get more videos on the channel you can also find me on twitch twitter instagram and the sims 4 gallery all rin as in win thank you guys so much for joining me i really appreciate you I know the internet is a busy place, so I'm honored you chose to spend some time with me today. Love you all, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.